Welcome to this very early Saturday morning. It's 7 a.m. I'm on my way to get picked up by a car to go to a field trip with students. I'm here a little early. I should be picked up in like five minutes, but it's better to be a little early than too late. That's my car. time now we have to talk to the military person because this is a military facility to get in here it's crazy maybe I should interrupt here for a second and give you a more detailed explanation we were meeting the students at the Federal Office of Civil Protection and Disaster Assistance which is actually a military facility of the German government anyways here they got a lecture before we could head into the field now we continue starting in a little bit. I should head into the seminar room. I should interrupt again. While the students had a lecture by another professor, we already headed to the field area. These are the deposits of the eruption of the volcano here. You see all the layering? That's geology in real life. Super fun. Everyone should know a little bit about it. You got something? Minerals? Habe ich mir erhofft, aber tatsächlich. Crazy. Wie heißt das Mineral? Hauin. Hauin. Das schreibt sich komplett Kacke. H A U und teilweise H A U Y N. We made it now to the lake, we park our cars and I think then the field trip starts. Yeah, then the students arrived and they had to split up in three groups. Of one group, I got the geology expert to help them fulfilling their tasks. <coughs> Here come the temperature messen. That day behind me is the Laha See, the lake. It's a volcanic lake from a phreatomagmatic eruption. I'm gonna explain you quickly the phreatomagmatic eruption type. In this case, we have volcano in an environment where we have groundwater or ocean water, any kind of water source. When the magma from the magma chamber slowly rises and gets in contact with the groundwater, it gets into a superheated condition, lots of gas and water steam gets created. This mix of gas and magma makes a volcano very explosive when erupting. Imagine you drain water into a hot pan with oil. So this type of eruption we call phreatic. So I'm gonna repeat this clip, but this time we know what I'm talking about. It's a volcanic lake from a phreatomagmatic eruption. And my students had to measure the water temperature, so they have to do different things, they have to do Geodetic stuff, geology and meteorology, and so far it's good. 
that's my group we're heading to the parking lot to get back into the bus So what you just saw were mofets. This are this is gas coming from the volcano and it's everywhere here, but you can just see it in the water. It's super cool. So this volcano, the volcano of the La Jasse, is an inactive volcano. You have to imagine if you pop up a bottle of champagne, but this bottle, this volcano was opened 13,000 years ago. So that's pretty cool. Out an old pumice pit where they from medieval times on got their pumice for building houses or for like cosmetic products and they're still looking for pumice that is a gorgeous sunset now we are on our way to the last stop before the sunset before we go back it was very successful so far. They learned a lot. I think, I guess. Damn it. I just needed to pee for a second. And now my group is gone. I lost them. I need to find them again. <sighs> Where could they be? I'm gonna hurry now. Oh, iced. I found them. Yep. That's man made. I guess everyone remembers this outcrop. We've been here earlier without the students. Alright, that was the last outcrop of our little geological field trip. I hope everyone enjoyed it. And with this sunset, I have to end the vlog for today. Because my battery is dying and I don't have a second one yet. But it's ordered. <laughs>